G'day, just a quick little video. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on rock hounding and I said at the beginning of that, rock hounding can be a bit of a gamble when you're looking for thunder eggs. This is why. Look at this. What have we got over here? Um, what do you reckon there? Oh, thunder eggs. Big old thunder eggs. Big old thunder eggs. But let's have a look. Because it's got stuff in it. Bubbles are good. Bubbles are good. Oh, it's feeling very round and eggy. That's a good, good egg effect. Ooh, this gets better. It does, doesn't it? Ooh. Where does it end? I don't know. A bit like icebergs sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You start off with just the tip. That's... Oh, God. Oh, it's cut, it moved. Did it move? Just a little bit, I think. Oh, yeah, I saw that move. Almost. Whatever that is. Yeah. Another thunder egg probably. It is. <laughs> yeah. It is. Oh, it is. A perfect oh, one actually. Oh, That's a really good thunder egg. Yeah, wow. And take that. Way. I think that's a cutter for today. Yeah. Take that. That's a That's a heavy one, isn't it? That's fantastic. That's got a great weight. Like as in not too not, heavy. Yeah. Not too light. I like that. Just oh, right. Yeah. Digging for thunder eggs is so different to the regular fossicking and rock hounding because you're picking out a rock that you don't know what to expect on the inside and you can imagine the excitement knowing what's possible in this area. That's what I need to get out and we can get under it. Yeah. These thunder eggs here are from a 200 million year old rhyolite flow. No, it's not moving. I think you're right, dude. I think it's part of a flow. It's just got such a good shape. 200 million years in the ground, and she's a big one. But dare I say it, sometimes size doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. I think we've got it. That's a phenomenal oh. egg, dude. Yes. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. <laughs> look at it. Look. Oh, dude. What that, more do you want? That is massive. That is a great egg. That is a big old thunder egg. <laughs> dude, that thing is huge. Oh, and we got the little one too. The baby thunder egg. The ba oh, yeah. When you call one of these a baby, you know you're doing all right. <laughs> that thing is fat. Like P hates fat. All right, you ready for the reveal? <laughs> this is why rock hounding for thunder eggs can be a gamble and still stoked I brought it home. Let's show you. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. This is just a quick video to show you that sometimes size doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's have a look. So we got this one cut on a big old, big old saw and uh, it was full of cracks. So, I mean, it's beautiful. The colors in it are stunning of the rhyolite. It's got this little little vein of smoky quartz going through here with some waterline, but it's got so many cracks, little bands and stuff. It's a beautiful piece, but look, with thunder eggs, you just never know. So the reason why I've got the tile saw out is not to even attempt cutting this guy. Oh, it's so sad he broke. But next week, I'm going to be checking out these ones, seeing if I can find something and completely redeeming myself. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. For now, I'm going to get cutting these guys, and I will see you next week. This is just a little bonus video. It's the reality of rock hounding, especially with thunder eggs. You can't see what's inside until you cut them. Alright, see you then. <laughs>